So I'm <coughs> over at the Esvel Gallery at Columbia Basin College, and this is where I've got a show going on uh, for this the rest of July and then uh, through August 10th. And I'm just going to kind of walk you through some of the sculptures that I've got on display here. I'm pretty excited about them, so I'm going to give you guys a view. So here we are. It's me and Marie Nurani who are doing the show. That's one of her pieces right there. She does uh, paper art, and it's uh, paper that she makes and then colors and cuts up, and she's got so much stuff in here. It's pretty amazing, all the work that she was able to produce for the show. And I've got like nine or 10 pieces in here, but there's her stuff or some of it. And this is such a great gallery space. I love it. It's all concrete and big windows. And here's a couple of my smaller pieces that I've got. This one was purchased by the college. So I'm pretty excited about that. It'll be cool to have as part of their permanent collection. And one of my little helping robots or metal men and business cards, another balancing man, and one of my more realistic sculptures, I guess, more figurative. This sculpture, I was done with it and then decided to put the gold leafing on this little guy. I think it really helped for him to stand out. It's kind of part of the theme, or it fits with the theme of uh, some of the other sculptures with the gold coloring. And I really like this little robot person. She's pretty cool. She was a lot of fun to make. Here's some bookends. Hello function part. Made of gears and bolts and all sorts of stuff. And here are some of my bigger pieces. I'll start over here with this one. This is titled, Something Without an End or Beginning. Well, it's actually holding something without end or beginning, but that's all right. It's got some spider webs on it, but originally I had a fish in his hand and it broke off and so I had to redo the hands and I'd never really liked the fish so I had to change it up. And I really like the way it turned out. I think it adds a lot more to it than what it originally had. I love, uh, I really like playing with gestures for these little metal guys, bringing some life into them. Movement. Here's another little metal guy. This one's titled Waiting on the Edge of Eternity. This is my big sculpture. This one took so long to make. And I thought I was done with it. And then I decided to add a little piece to it. So I'll just go around it. You can kind of see right there the little person. And this just took a long, long time to make. And it was just this abstract sculpture, but once I added the guy, it totally changed the, the meaning. For me so as you can see it's a little guy in a little boat just kind of 
right in this wave and he's not all that worried. And this is titled The Voyage. And I love it. It was tough to make, but I really like how it turned out. And just the z symbolism of our life's journey and how sometimes we can feel like just this little guy in this big turbulent sea, but everything's okay. So thanks for watching. That's uh, that's it. That's all my stuff here at the gallery, and uh, I'll just talk to you guys later. Bye.